Okay, so let's go. We'll start by creating a new composition or a new Photoshop file. Just make it full HD by copying these settings. So the first thing that we're going to do is creating our own background. So uncheck this thing here. So it's going to be a normal layer and go to filter to render and add some fibers. Press OK, then go to filters again, go to pixelate, pixelate and select crystallize. And just, I'll use 30. Then go to the effects tab down below, go to color overlay and make it black, just blend mode normal and opacity 90%. Then go on effects again, here on the left bottom, and put in another color overlay. Just make it like black again, but now select color as black mode, so it becomes gray. Okay, maybe we can turn up the, the um, black a little bit more, maybe 93, just like that. Okay, so now make a, go to the text tool and just type in offline. I'll use the font good times because I really like it and go to the or select the off first of all and just give it a color whatever you like. I'll just check, use this one, press OK. Then select the rest and just make it white. So like this. Then Control T to select it and just scale it up a bit and center it like this. Okay, so looks a bit boring, so we'll add some text effects. So go to the effect tab again and select bevel and emboss. And yeah, you can copy my settings. I'll just use the smooth technique in a bevel. Uh, turn up depth to the maximum, size like 150. And yeah, the rest you can just copy, maybe like this. Then we also can add um, outer glow. So make sure you have this checked, just make it blue again or whatever color you like. Then we also can add a drop shadow, which we will make a little bit bigger, just like this maybe. And we can try an inner glow as well, let's see if it looks good. Yeah, it's okay, you don't need it, but maybe sometimes it looks good on the off maybe a little bit. Then press OK. So this still looks quite boring, so we have to create our own shapes, just select the um, shape tool or whatever it's called and create some nice looking shapes. Then go to, if it's not already like that, go to fill and just put in a random color first. First of all, just make some more of these, just like this maybe and like this okay so now um, hold down shift and select all the three shapes and press ctrl g to make a group and now let's give them a nice gradient so just pick the color of your of your text and for the other do it again and just make it a little bit lighter or darker whatever you like so okay maybe let's make it a bit stronger like this it's a little bit more interesting and press ok now you can use the shape tool again but now or first of all make a new layer and turn down the fill or just remove it and make the stroke right now we can just make some outlines like this. Control T to move and just wait. Why doesn't it just like this? And you can just make some more white lines, which will look good. Just make a few layers and play with the with the strokes. Maybe one more, just like this. We can make a nice outline on this as well. Yeah, so that's it. That's the, oh no, we have one more thing. 
just make a new layer and go to the um, pen tool and make like a big smooth brush like I'll just make it 1500 pixels and if you want you can fill these um, corners and just turn on the opacity a bit so it looks like this and I think this already looks quite cool of course you can add more shapes or play with some other things but yeah that's it for this tutorial I hope you like it and see you next time Stop it. Get some help.